Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we're going to make a wall mount for our video game systems. So let me fill you in on our sad state of the video games down here in the living room. So you can see off to the side we have our Nintendo Switch. And that's off to the side because we don't have room on our entertainment center. Uh, if we try to put the switch behind the TV here, well, the Joy-Cons don't pick it up and it just kind of loses signal, so we've had to put it off to the side, but we don't have anything to mount it on, so it's just sitting on the floor. That means that it's easy for the cats to knock into it, or the Roomba when it's vacuuming. We, we just need to, uh, we need to change that up a little bit. And recently we picked up this. This is an Oculus Quest. It is a VR headset, uh, and it has two controllers. And you can see that it's just kind of sitting off to the side here. Um, it has a charging cable, so we just put it on a little stand so it's next to an outlet, and it's easy to charge. But you can see it's kind of in the doorway. So we need to change that. So I figured it would be a perfect time for us to take the Oculus Quest. We'll take our Nintendo Switch and we have this free wall here off to the side. So we'll go ahead and make some uh, 3D printed wall mounts for the two systems. We'll get it nice and hung up and uh, yeah, we'll reclaim some of this floor space. So let's go find some models. So let's just take a look at Thingiverse. Let's see if there's Oculus Quest. Let's see what they got. Oh wow, there's a lot of cool accessories for the Oculus Quest already. That's actually surprising because this is a relatively new system. Ooh, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. An Oculus Quest Stand Wall by ATRV. Uh, looks like it has a mount for the headsets, a couple of mounts for the controllers, uh, and one for some optional headphones. I won't need the headphones, but I like the head and the controller mounts. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, those look... It looks like that'll work. Okay, there we go. Oculus Quest uh, stand for the wall by ATRV. So now let's take a look for a stand for the Nintendo Switch. There are a lot of cool Switch accessories out here, but I found this Nintendo Switch wall mount with game cartridge storage by Elite CGI. Um, it looks like it's a nice little stand. He printed his in transparent, so you can actually see the cartridges that fit in, uh, but it's for the full dock. Um, so if we take a look at that, yeah, it's just screwed into the wall, has some slots for the cartridges, and the entire uh, stand, the entire dock sits in it. It even has some cutouts for the cables, so that's cool. I think, I think we found it. Cool, so now we're in Cura, and uh, we get these sliced up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually print them. Um, all of these with the same settings. I'm going to print them with uh, three walls. So you can see three exterior perimeters right here. And I'm going to print them with 5% gyroid infill. And that gives this cool little uh, infill pattern that is really strong. And I think that's with a combination of just a 5% infill here and three walls, that'll be more than strong enough. So let me get this prepared and let's go 3D print it. So all of these printed pretty well. There's a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of stringing, especially with the Oculus controller holders. There's just a whole lot of stringing. I recently upgraded my TiVo Tornado, uh, the printer that this was printed on, to a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, but it looks like I have some stringing issues to work through. But that's not gonna be a problem. I can just grab a hot air gun and we can go ahead and melt some of these strings and just get that cleaned up um, it's not going to affect the functionality of the prints. You're just going to 
end up with a little bit of stringing artifacts on it. But this isn't a showpiece, this is a functional piece, so I think this will be good enough. And you can see that the hot air just melts away all of these strings. Uh, it's actually pretty satisfying to watch. But now that all of these are printed, let's go hang these on the wall. So because these will be mounted on drywall, I'm just going to use some really small drywall anchors uh, to hold these up. They're not going to be you know, heavy duty or need to hold a heavy load. These are pretty lightweight. Um, but just for some you know, security sake, let's add some drywall anchors and get these screwed in. So the Quest does charge with a USB-C and I'll need to print some kind of cable management for that because the port's over on this side. So if I plug in the Quest to get charging, then there's just this cable that runs through. So we'll need to print some kind of cable mounts to, uh, to route that, make that cable look pretty good. And it's the same with the switch down below. There's a little bit of cable management that needs to do but the, uh, the main mounts are finished. So thank you all for joining us as we cleaned up our living room a little bit with this quick project. Uh, you can find links to these models down in the description below, and there you'll also find some Amazon affiliate links. If you use those links to purchase anything from Amazon, that helps out this channel and helps us create uh, more awesome projects just like this. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.